All right, so sometimes running a gaming PC company means that you might have to take a few returns. And this particular PC looks like it's had a bit of a rough journey with the courier um, turning up. It looks like uh, the liquid cooler has probably leaked all over the inside from being a bit smashed up because there's um, fluid inside the PC. Not a whole lot, but enough that I don't want them to turn it on. But rest assured, um, I've already built them a replacement PC, um, which they're currently enjoying now um, at no extra cost. So we're going to do a bit of a rescue job on this one uh, to try and get it back into working condition, clean it all up, and we're going to sell it on at a really good price, cheaper than you could build yourself. So not only does that customer get seen right, you're also going to get a great price on this one for the next person who wants to pick up a really well-priced PC. And before getting on with that, I will tell you guys running this business that customer service is absolutely number one. You've really got to be on it. There's lots of big PC building companies out there. And part of the reason why I've been successful is that I've got a very close relationship with the customers. Anything goes wrong, get onto it straight away. Send out a replacement, even while the other one's in transit coming back to me. It's the kind of thing you've got to do uh, to survive in small business. Also sent them out a couple of free Steam gift cards as well uh, as like a compensation slash apology. But anyway, let's get on with seeing what the damage is on this PC. So let's survey the damage, get these blocks off. Okay, so looking in the back, actually all of this looks completely fine, not damaged. I can't see any sort of fluid buildup or anything. There's a bit of Actually, there's a little bit of orange stuff there. I won't be able to come out on the camera, but there's a bit of orange fluid up here in the corner. Um, but otherwise, everything is absolutely bone dry back here. Weirdly though, this whole case has got like a kind of weird sticky texture to it, hence why we're wearing the gloves, which makes me suspicious that there is coolant in there because it's often got that kind of sticky consistency um, in addition to you know being brightly colored. Now looking here, we've still got our Instapack and customers very kindly put that back in again. Um, and that stops the graphics card from getting smashed around in shipping. We always use these. Um, so you don't, prob we probably don't need to actually, because the way we pack it, we probably don't need these, but it's just a bit of extra um, protection for the customer. Actually on a first inspection here, guys, it doesn't look too bad. I can't really see much uh, in terms of damage in here. Everything looks like it's in good nick. Uh, although, actually, let's zoom in on that. So, I don't know if it comes out very well, but there's some, some kind of white residue here on the fins of this uh, heatsink for this graphics card. So, I think that's all going to need a bit of a clean. Fortunately, though, I'm not seeing any sort of pools of any liquid on top of this. So, I'm actually really, really got my fingers crossed that that graphics card is still good to go. Because that's obviously the most valuable part of this whole system. On the screws that hold the graphics card in place, they're quite rusty, which shows that they've had a bit of moisture on them. I can't see anything particularly worrying on any of the motherboard traces at the moment, um, but there are a few little drips of fluid every now and again. But then, uh-oh, what have we got in the corner down here? Now that looks like a fan. Please, please, please do not be the graphics card fan, because that would be so annoying if it is. Right, what have we got here? Okay. So it's... Antec fan, so that means it's coming from the CPU liquid cooler, uh, which is fine because I was probably going to get rid of that anyway. Um, so that, <laughs> let's actually see where that's come from. So now that I've whacked that exposure up, you can probably see uh, that here, we've <laughs> got a lovely fan on this side, but there isn't one on this side, you've just got the bearing there. That's so obviously, that's completely knackered. Um, and all, again, all the screws have got sort of a little bit of rust on them. Again, evident here, more rust here on the power supply screws as well we can see here on the back of the motherboard a few little drips of fluid every now and again okay now so looking over the top here this is all in pretty good nick um no real damage there's a little bit of sort of grease along the front a bit of like residue of fluid or something again quite sticky stuff um so yeah well, it's gonna have to be cleaned up Okay guys, so in medicine we use this word impression when we write in the notes, and the impression being the overall summary of what you found and what you think might be going on. Now in this PC, so far, obviously I haven't switched it on yet, but it just looks like there's some liquid damage, um, but it's mainly affecting sort of the 
show parts of it rather than the performance parts. We've got a little bit of crap on the GPU heatsink. Um, we've got a, a few blobs of fluid and a bit of rust on the screws, as well as one of the fans obviously having fallen out of its bearing on the liquid cooler. But guys, this could be a lot worse. One of the key things you don't want to do is turn on a PC that's got any liquid on it. You know, you could bathe uh, a motherboard in um, plain old distilled water, uh, and it would be absolutely fine, provided you made sure it dried appropriately. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to take everything out, take it all apart, give it a good clean, and then hopefully it will scrub up nicely. I also forgot to note that one of the feet has actually come off the case as well, so that's completely smashed up. I'm going to start by taking off all the cable ties. It's a shame, I've spent bloody ages cable managing all this, so it actually looked quite nice. Okay, so they're all loosened up, let's get some of the components out. Okay, graphics card here uh, actually appears to be in pretty good condition. Uh, PCIe connector, beautiful and straight with no damage to the traces. Uh, I can't see any evidence of any liquid really on this, apart from a few little drops there. Uh, no big deal. Okay, there we go. There's the missing fan, completely ripped out. There's a chance it'd probably be all right if you just uh, you just stuck it back in. Might be all right. There is a bit of sort of a few drops of water on here, but the, actually looking at this now, I'm I'm not convinced that this has leaked at all. I was expecting to see a load of water all over this. Can't see anything at all. Fan popped back on beautifully. Um, we might actually be all right to keep this one. Okay, so here's the motherboard. Uh, looking all right, you know. Um, I'm wondering whether this is where the problem's gonna be though, so we'll see. Um, I think usually, guys, the M2 SSDs, though, these are going to be completely fine. Um, really, all I can see on here is just a bit of scratch on here, but that actually comes off. Um, there was a few sort of trickles of fluid along here and along here. So what we're going to do with this, guys, is probably just take off all of the heat sink bits, everything, strip it down to its bare PCB, give it a good clean, let it dry thoroughly for at least 24 hours, and then um, see where we stand there. Okay, power supply's out. And guys, this is actually bone dry and uh, there's absolutely nothing wrong with this at all, right? So uh, I think this is gonna be absolutely fine. And I really would not recommend opening these up and looking inside, guys. There's no serviceable parts to a regular user of a power supply like this, all right? The fans are all right. A uh, Little bit of water, but I think that will come off just fine. Up. <laughs> you got no chance. You cannot jump that high. He's looking, right, at these birds here. Bob, you've tried to jump that fence before, mate. It did not go well. You ran inside crying. I I've just gotta I've just gotta see what happens. See? He's given up. Alright, so my, my plan for cleaning this is just to give it some soapy water um, which does is fine for inert parts like the case obviously you don't want to be doing that on your electronic parts but first we've got to take out all the front io from the top okay yeah that's your front panel that's what it looks like uh, at least on this case uh, pretty cool you don't get to see this very often Important to get this out before you wash the case, because uh, obviously these got electronic components in them. Um, so we'll just set that aside safe, put it back in at the end. All right, so it's time to get cleaning. Um, my goal for this, right, is to actually not have to throw any of the parts away at all. Uh, I want to try and clean them all, get them back into a working state so that we can have a full computer and have nothing go to landfill. But obviously they're going to have to all work for us to be able to do that. 
just using a good old fashioned sponge and fairy liquid. It's all you need. Don't be using bleach because that's gonna strip all the paint off it. So this is just a nice sort of gentle clean, gets rid of all the stickiness. It should leave it sparkling. And as you can see, my patio looks like the Battle of Verdun because there's so much water everywhere. So time to put these in a good position where they can dry effectively. And the key thing with these is to try and put them in a position where it's as little as possible water is gonna catch in any crevices. Because the crevices are always the last bits to dry. So I'm gonna put it just this way round. You can always move it around later. Put it upside down. We'll probably come back in an hour and then flip it the other way up. Motherboard next. So let's get these M2 SSDs out. And these are completely fine. No problem with these whatsoever. Okay, Wi-Fi chip, let's get that out. Memory out, and this is also completely fine. There's no problem, no blemishes in that whatsoever. So I'm actually gonna leave the CPU on in there just because of the pins. Right then, so let's take off all the heat sinks and other bits. I actually had no idea that on this motherboard there's an M2 slot on the back. I had no idea. All right, so basically I can't get this piece off the back here. So get, I think the screws like munged up or it, it might even be a different shape, but either way, I think we'll be all right. We can just sort of move it around like that. So this is all the heat sink and other bits from your VRM. That's a little box bit that goes around the IO shield, thermal putty, heat sink, pretty substantial heat sink. That's for the south bridge. And here, this is actually what your motherboard looks like underneath all of those heat sinks. And it doesn't, it doesn't actually look that much different from a low end board. Uh, this one doesn't have a lot of power stages, um, but either way, it's plenty fine for your, your i5s and even some of your i7s. So I can't see any obvious grease or damage or anything here. So we'll just give it a quick once over with a bit of IPA, um, but I think it'll be all right. Now this is all completely fine. Yeah, if I wanted it to be really extra, I could get like an ultrasonic cleaner or something and do all this, but I think this is gonna be fine. So let's get some of the crap off the back plate here. A little bit of either rust or fluid there, looks like rust. Just give that a short while just to all evaporate. Okay, so I'm looking in there. There are no bent pins whatsoever. It's all pristine, no, no liquid in there, absolutely fine. So you know, to protect the socket, I'm just gonna put that CPU straight back in. All right, so uh, let's give this just a little while just to dry up a little bit. And uh, we'll come back to it, put everything back on. Because we used isopropyl alcohol, it dries a lot quicker so you don't have to leave it to dry as long as you would if you're using just plain old water. Okay, we're gonna give the graphics card a bit of a, a quick clean, but I'm not gonna really deep clean it. I just want to try and get all of this uh, crap out of the fin stack there. So that's all I'm gonna be aiming for, to do here. All right, so cleaning the graphics card, I actually don't have whatever screwdriver you need for this connection, right? So uh, I'm not gonna be able to actually take the top off, which is really weird. I've never seen a company do this before. Really annoying. Um, I've even got an iFixit here, right? And I have not got an attachment for it that I could find. But fortunately, really, the only thing on this that looks like it needs attention is this gunk here. And I think I could probably get that out with a toothpick, so that would be fine. And then we'll just give the whole thing a quick clean as well.
Okay, so it might not be perfect, but we've managed to blow off uh, a lot of the dust off the side there. I think that's good enough to be put into a PC for resale as an open box. So thanks to a bit of sun, uh, actually all of that stuff over there is now bone dry, so ready to rebuild. spilling out of there, lovely. And we're booting up nicely there. Right then, yeah, looks like we've fixed this beauty up. I'm going to be selling this over on pc36.co.uk at a really good price, so it's not going to be any profit involved. It's purely going to be trying to recoup some of my losses. I'm probably still going to make a bit of a loss on this, but it's worth it to stop a lot of this stuff being chucked out. The real main problem here is that everything was quite dirty and needed a clean. Uh, also, on the case of you know, we've got our legs here that are a bit busted at the back, but otherwise it's completely functional. Um, even that liquid cooler wasn't broken in the end, so I don't know how there was liquid all over the inside of the PC. Uh, I'm not going to go blaming anyone, I think I'm just going to leave it, accept the loss and move on. Zwing, that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed it and uh, catch you in the next. <laughs>